Have you ever learned an important lesson from a small child? Lots of us have heard children say the wisest and most profound things at times. Some of the things they say are just plain common sense. One little six-year-old guy asked his dad, Daddy, today is yesterday's tomorrow, right? He's right, but where did he come up with that? Pastor Bob here from True Life Community, Seventh-day Adventist Church in Denver, Colorado. Another parent with a two-year-old daughter was watching the treetops for about 10 minutes, swaying in the breeze. Afterward, the little girl said, trees can't talk, but they tell you things. <laughs> Another little boy, maybe four years old, was asked what he wanted to be when he grows up. His answer was, when I grow up, is it absolutely necessary to be something? <laughs> the one I like is about a little five-year-old who sat down on a park bench next to a man who was a complete stranger. The little boy was winding what appeared to be his prized possession, a watch on his wrist. The man noticed the watch and he said, wow, that's a pretty nice watch. Does it tell you the time? The little boy said, no, sir, you got to look at it. Here was a five-year-old who was very logical. Watches don't tell you the time. You don't have the ability to speak and, and talk to them and, and tell you what time it is. You have to look at the hands or the digital numbers to know the time. It is that way with the Bible also. It does not sit on the table or shelf and tell you how you must come to Jesus. It doesn't speak to you unless you open it and read the words. The things you find there may be the most surprising and eye-opening things in your entire life. When you pick up the Bible and actually read it, you'll be changed. You'll find, as Timothy tells us in his epistle, all Scripture is breathed out by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, and for training in righteousness. All of those things we find in our Bibles, but we have to look. Father, help us to be inspired to look at your word every day and read it and study it and learn from it the things you have for us. In Jesus' name, amen.